Hello everybody and welcome back to Pokemon Florida Sky. In the recent episodes, I've actually pondered in my mind a little bit, especially after seeing Deerling, or whatever that stupid, stupid deer thing was. was I'm kind of pondering whether I should even keep my grass type, because anything a grass type can really accomplish, any other decent type can accomplish. I mean, they don't have any good grass moves in this game, so... I mean, Whimsicott knows Solar Beam, and it already sucks, so it doesn't do anything. Here, I'll show you if I have Whimsicott in my first spot. I completely forgot I do. Let me use my all-powerful Solar Beam, Wilt's Draining. Raining might decrease its power. I'm not really sure if that goes into its effect, but I'm going to take in Sunlight, which there probably isn't much in this area. Use Twister. And actually, if you use Sunny Day to make it sunshiny out, then Solar Beam actually goes off straight away. I mean, you don't even have to sit there and use moves or something. You're just like, boom, Solar Beam. But, anyway, Solar Beam, I'll be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised if it hadn't killed it. I mean, tripping over myself a little bit there, but that's fine. I don't really like grass types, really. I've never really seen use in them. I mean, grass is good against rock, ground, and water, and a water type would be destroyed by Zebstrika, and a ground water, or ground rock type would be completely destroyed by a water type. And it's basically required that you have a water type because you need to surf. So, and I can't even think of my party right now, so do I even have a water type? I don't have a water type yet. That's what I definitely need to acquire, which I could be acquiring right now, but I don't care enough. So, I might be kicking Whimsicott out the door a little sooner than I'd hoped here, which also brings me to the fact that I haven't kicked out... <laughs> I haven't even kicked out Monferno yet, and I named him I will replace. I thought, I mean, whoa, those are inverted stairs, those are kind of nasty looking. I'm going to go this way just to see if there's the goods in this direction. Wow, there's another pitiful excuse for Pokemon Deerling. I might as well try to catch it, just because just it's a 5th generation Pokemon, and who knows, its stats might surprise me thoroughly, but I kind of really doubt. Yep, don't kill that time, do you? Yep, okay, Growl has decreased my attack, I might not kill it with Headbutt now, and I don't really want to waste a Pokeball on a Pokemon that I might not train, so I might as well just Headbutt it again, and it died all well, I didn't care enough. Anyway, but here we are running through the forest, beautiful! Okay, so you could probably just use Surf right there and cut the, cut the river, and <clears throat> make it uh, home, home freeness over on this side of this random maze type of forest of doom. I don't even know who decided to design this forest. I know nobody probably designed it, but we don't need to get around going home already. As his voice keeps going, he gets more scraggly and nasty. Oh, come on, put your dukes up. Aqua Grunt would like to battle. Senegarda, ah, that's a really, really blue Gyarados. <laughs> Seems bluer than usual. It's raining, which is great. And then he's gonna have Intimidate. And he's water flying, which I've never understood the flying thing, because I'm pretty sure he still can't learn a single flying move that's ever existed in the world of flying moves, but whatever. Yeah, take that. Just keep thrashing, we'll see where it gets ya. Mm, aha, I lived. Might as well just take in sunlight and try a solar beam. Nothing good's gonna come out of this battle. So take in some sunlight, he does some thrashage. So there we go. Down to 21 health. And I'm gonna solar beam him, take maybe... Good. Hope you like rubber ducks, because they're around your head. Slash midsection. Because of the way your sprite sits, but that's fine. Boom, solar beam hits for... Uh, decent amount, actually. Confuse yourself. Yes! That means I can hit him with a, a rock hard mega drain, and wow, that was really painful. Rock hard mega drain and drink his health away and get some health. Hopefully, I get at least up to 30. I'd like to get to 30. There's a critical hit, too. That's garbage. Go die in a hole, Gyarados. Oh, thanks for the experience, though. I'm glad that that Pokemon I'm about to ditch has leveled up. And that was his only Pokemon. Oh, no. it smells funny here. I don't really like trees. I didn't even get to fight a Team Magma guy. It's like I'm completely useless. And then Mario, nice big blue ball of uselessness. My lord, Mario's awful. <laughs> I mean, I think it's a more defensive Pokemon, but 
it can't really hold its own anyway. I'm just gonna Mega Drain just so I can get my health back. And then I really need to switch out with Whimsicott. But this, lucky for Whimsicott, this is almost the only place it's it's useful in the whole game. So there we go, back up to 69 health. So there goes Muriel. 215 experience. I'm gonna switch out some Pokemans. Oh, he's fainted. I'm just gonna switch out him. Now I gotta switch out him back around. I'm gonna switch Boido Doom up to the front because Boido Doom's probably gonna be staying with us for this entire time because it's actually slightly useful. That's a pointless area over there. And I don't know if they like taunt you with the water, so it's like, oh, you gotta come back when you get served so you can get all these good items, but. I'm going to go ahead and disregard those items as existing for the entire game. Seems like a pretty good pretty good mission for me. And I'm going to go ahead and run, just because I don't want to sit here and fight battles. I'm going to have to start speeding those up, because it takes forever, and I find them all the time. Oh, this is going to end bad, isn't it? Okay. Alright, this guy's hiding in the grass, I think he's all ninja-like. I'm just like, la 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 la, up to the stairs. I saw ya! We're Team Aqua! We appear wherever anything rare is found. I bet. It seems like you appear anywhere you just feel like appearing. It's what it seems like to me. It's what I've seen the pattern so far seems to follow. Watch out. It's like, he's just sitting there. He just, <laughs> it's like, I'm disappointed in you. That's like the, I'm disappointed in you face. Wing strike. I don't know how hard a bird could hit somebody with its wings, but I feel like it wouldn't hurt that much. <laughs> Oh, good old quick attack here. I spin real fast, does real good damage. Yeah, 645 experience. Golduck. Hmm. What do you see in Golduck? He's overpowered because he has a crunchy crunch. Even though that's a special attack on this game, which is garbage because they're all physical moves. It's like they didn't even try to think about it. Yeah, I get that rain out of here. I got sand stream. This takes so long. Golduck, level 34. Hopefully my really, really, really crappy crunch attack hurts it enough with super effectivity to strike it down when it stands. Okay, it's not super effective. Okay, I'm pretty sure, I'm 100% sure that Golduck is psychic, so they must have messed up the typing on this, I don't know. Because I know Dark is super effective to psychic, and he's psychic, so I'll just use strength on him if that's not going to do anything. Woohoo! Random punches! Yeah, you better. Water sport, huh? I just. I thought that was water spout there for a second. I was like, that's gonna be pretty useless, except for that I'm brown type. But then I remembered that water sport's just completely worthless as it is. So I guess I'll hit him with another strength. I'm just like, yeah! Random hit mark off. So Golduck faints. And another day is saved by Overpowered, and he doesn't level up because that's just too mainstream. Boy, I really wish you were alive, Kazab, because I don't have anything good against him. Yeah, Void of Doom, let's just try to take down this guy with Void of Doom. Although, now that I think about it, it would be nice to level up Monferno so it would evolve. And then I might not have to replace him, I might have to go to the name tutor guy, and just, or name remover guy, and be like, oh, I won't replace, because <laughs> he's gotten to the point where he's one of my best Pokemon, just because... Fire types are extremely useful in this game, and oh wow, I did not expect that to get one hit. Well, whatever works. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> yeah. I've got a lot of HP. This Pokemon's got some ridiculous health. Do, 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 do. All right, Trudge onward. Oh, I saw some business. Oh, look at this person. Hmm, I was defeated by Team Aqua, but they're too late. Our boss Maxi will take the Red Orb before Team Aqua comes. <laughs> Good. Now I probably have to choose if I want to fight Groudon or if I want to fight Kyogre. But I won't really know if it's like, do you think we should take the Red Orb? Yes or no. Ooh, Murkrow. There's a Pokemon I didn't have any desire to catch. I think I'll go ahead and not fight it, and instead run away. After this rain gets done pouring, there we go. I had a little persuasion with my speed up bar. Let's fight this guy. Looks like he's tough. We're your stop Team Magma. It, it, it. Do you have to, is it required to laugh after you say everything? I'm just gonna sit here and be like, yeah, so yesterday, I got this pat rat. <laughs> got it from Team Magma. <laughs> I need a better job. I'm gonna wing attack this Patrat. I call it Patrat, just to add a little flavor to his name. 
He's dead. Border Doom is just so overpowered. He's so OP. Carvana. Send in this guy. Because he's fighting and he's just that good. He's just like, boom, Carvana dead. Because Carvana shares the dark type. And with dark comes great responsibility. Except not at all, actually. So the rain's falling. That's pretty sweet. Haven't seen that a hundred times yet. Mock Punch, look at that. It was real fast that time. Real fast. So here goes Carvana. Rough skin hurt me, that's fine. 640 experience, that was pitiful. Our plan's being spoiled by a kid. I gotta hold my other hand up like it's a fist. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode here. Join me next time and I'll attempt to get through this random forest maze of doom. So I hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys next time. Lisa Waffle and I'm out.